Hey guys, it's Thomas here. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. I'm having a great day. I'm finishing up my work. Um, long day. Um, been doing a lot of things for the family. I um, also had to do some work for the work, but work got done and the family's been taken care of. So now I got a little bit extra time here. So I'm going to do this um, story uh, about my best friend Barry. And uh, this is going to be the the first time we really <laughs> uh, did some bad stuff. <laughs> well, this happened to be about 1977 or about 77, 78. We were in eighth grade and at in Barry's block, he lived in, in, in Arlington. Uh, there were a couple of uh, African-American boys that were giving him a hard time. I don't know why they give him a hard time, but they were trying to be bullies. You know, we hate bullies. But they were giving him a, a hard time, you know, and they were trying to want to fight him and that kind of thing. So, you know, as my boy, uh, I'm not going to let anything happen to my boy. Um, if you remember, um, we talked about uh, um, the time when Barry and I, we, we got involved with uh, breaking and entering. Um, you'll see the clip right up here, I believe, um, with the Blake and the entering and, and how I had to back him up um, f to do the uh, actual arrest of someone when he was deputized. Um, that was a good story. So, but in this, this is the first time you know we've ever did anything like this, but it kind of laid the groundwork for what we did about 15, 20 years later when we actually worked in tandem. Uh, to bring down this guy. Now, as I said before, Barry and I, we were in the, the Guardian Angels, so we had training uh, with the Guardian Angels. So uh, I knew exactly what he was going to do, and I was able to back him up because we were, it was kind of like I had one hand watches the other. So we were like this. So the, the first time we really didn't do this, but in this situation, um, this was the plan. He said, okay, all right. He said, I said, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go out here, and I'm gonna be riding my bike, and you just hang back, which is me. And then when the girl, when the guys come up, you know they're gonna try and take my bike. So I want you to surprise them, okay? Uh, and then uh, what he did, he gave me his BB gun, <laughs> a BB gun, okay? Uh, so you can surprise them, and they and they and they run off, they run away, okay? That was the whole process, okay? Now, this, this whole thing, um, this is the story I've never told anybody. I've never told my mother. I've told his mother, and she, they didn't know anything. So, um, this is a, a, a very a secretive story, okay? The only me and him and the two other guys. I never seen the, the, the other guys again after after this whole deal went down. But they uh, but they gave him respect, and... Uh, Barry said they hadn't. They didn't give me problems after we did this, this little, this little, this little um, routine. So uh, we did kind of like Stoshkin and Hutch. Like we said, we were always into the cop shows, you know, Stoshkin and Hutch, Chips, and all that kind of stuff. So, so it was like summertime. So he was riding his bike, you know, and I'm hanging back, kind of close to the house. And he was riding up around, you know, enticing the boys, to, you know. So, um, so about maybe like 20 minutes later, he was riding back towards his house. And then the guys, they were following him. And then they they came up to him. And there was two of them. They were probably like about maybe 13, 15, and maybe 10. And he said, uh, the oldest one said, Give me your bike. Bray said, what? He said, give me your bike. Give me your bike. You know, using expletives. We can't use expletives. Okay, but he said, give me my your bike. I said, it's my, he said, it's my bike. He said, no, no, no. So then they started having an argument. And then the other two guys, they started to surround Barry. So, and I know this whole situation because he, 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 he told me what was going to happen. And I said, okay. So, um, then I came in, okay, from behind the other two guys. So they didn't know 
that I was watching, but when I when they started to cop simp, I came up on him. I said, okay, I said, what y'all doing with my man? I said, what's going on? This is my bike. And I said, no, it's not your bike. It's my bike. You know, I can ride this bike. This is my bike. And then they, you know, they were like, no, no, no. So they, they, they put their hands on the bike and they started, you know, touching the bike. Okay. Okay. That was my cue to act. Okay. He said, okay. When they start doing this, brandish the weapon. <laughs> so then um, they were started to pull in and then he, no, but they hadn't started hitting anybody. It was just, you know, we was pushing and shoving. And then I brandished his BB gun. <laughs> Those guys took off. They would, they were, <laughs> they went <would> ghost. <laughs> oh man, oh man, no, 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 it's a gun, it's a gun, it's a gun, let's go, 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 go. They took up this way, one went this way, one went that way, one went behind me. They were ghost. Uh, and, that was the last time we ever uh, had a problem with those guys. And he seen them, then they, you know, they, they, they left them alone after that. They didn't even come back and do a reprisal or no drive-by, nothing like that. But this is, you're talking about 1970s, so they're not going to do anything like that. So we, um, so what we did, we went hard. <laughs> we went hard um, to do an aggressive move so with these people doing a day. But had it been today, they would have came back with their weapons, and then we would have had <coughs> a situation. But uh, there was no need to escalate that. So, uh, so, it <laughs> so uh, everything chilled out, and uh, they became you know, the guy came with the, the tallest guy became friends with Barry. So it was cool not seeing him. But I can't remember what they look like now. I don't even know their names, and they live in his neighborhood. But that was, like I said, that was back in the early, mid to late seventies. So I don't know. So anyway, that's that story. So it's a, a never performed, uh, never told story before. It's a, it's a, it's a one of the stories from back in Iraq. <clears throat> so, um, but we never talked about that story either. That's one of our, one of our stories that you know is part of our lineage and uh, how we grew together. So after that, um, back at him on the situation, we kind of knew each other and how we needed to, to, to do things. And I would cover him and he would cover me. So, because uh, there was one one situation where um, I'll do this, next, I'll do a next story. You got to see the next story. Okay, this is what happened with me. And Barry came to my rescue. Okay. So I'm going to do a part two. <laughs> so um, for the um, story where, um, the, where Barry and I, we made an arrest, it's going to be up here. You know, you'll see it come up on the top there. So anyway, you guys take care. All right. Um, stay tuned for the story where um, Barry came to protect me. <laughs> okay. You guys take care. See you later. Bye-bye.